important story, I'm sure, from Mikel Arteta. Well, Mikel, another game where you had plenty of chances but failed to win. Does it feel a bit of a case of deja vu? Well, the performance for sure was there. As you said, amount of chances, situations and performance. Well, we deserve to win the game. There's no question about that. But actually, we lost it. So we are not capitalising. And in football and sports, you have to capitalise to win games. And at the moment, uh, we aren't doing it. 18 shots, five on target. Is it just a case that the finishing isn't good enough? What's going wrong? Absolutely. Well, when you are better than the, the best team in Europe, um, and you generate the amount of chances that I haven't seen a team again this season do it the way we've done it twice against them. But you don't win it, it's not enough. We have to play so much in two games against them. The reality is we have scored from a wide free kick. It's not enough. How do you rectify that as manager? How do you make that So better? we have to generate 58 shots then. What can you do? I cannot tell them. Listen, play worse than Liverpool, be worse, should one go on target and we're going to win the game. No, we're going to have to generate more and help them more and give them confidence. And when my team plays with that attitude, that desire, what can I do? Just stay behind them 100%. Conversely, at the other end of the pitch, of course, you then conceded the goals. For the opening goal, any frustrations at how you defended it or perhaps how your goalkeeper came back? Yeah, I haven't seen anybody as a non-goal, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah. So you don't generate it and you score a non-goal in your own box, difficult to win a match. What have you said to them in the dressing room? Exactly what I said to you. You talk, told me on Friday about needing to keep perspective. It's just one win in six now. How concerned are you? We have to win. How do you get back to winning ways, though? Scoring and not conceding. <laughs> Is it just a case of working on the training pitch? You've got nearly two weeks now, of course, until your next game. I don't know if that's a good thing. Just because working pitch. from home, I don't think it's going to work. So, yeah, we have to work on the, on the pitch. But is it a bad thing that you've got such a long pause now until your next Premier League it's game? It's what it is, and we're going to have to maximise it, reset, and uh, continue to play the same way if we can better and be more efficient. That's Thanks. it. Thanks, Miguel. Thank you.